What's up guys? Today's video, we are trying the entire new value menu at Taco Bell. I am actually so excited to try these items because most of them are new and they look so delicious. I have been scoping out this value menu ever since it came out. And then finally I was like, you know what? Let's just do a whole dedicated video on the entire menu, try all the items. I did go ahead and place my order on the app because there are quite a few items. So I figured it would just be easiest to do it that way. But before we pop into the drive-thru let me tell you guys exactly what there is so the first item that we got is the three cheese chicken flatbread melt this comes out to two dollars and 29 cents and then we also got the loaded beef nachos which is two dollars and 99 cents and then the double stack taco which is a dollar 99 a stacker this is definitely new this is two dollars and 19 cents and then we got a chicken enchilada burrito for two dollars and 49 cents I want to say this is not new I feel like they've at least had something in the past very similar and then we got the cheesy double beef burrito for $2.79 now I think that's definitely not new but I want to say the three cheese chicken flatbread melt is new the stacker is new the loaded beef nachos I mean they do have a lot of different nacho options here which are probably pretty similar but overall I think the menu looks really good the prices are very affordable so I'm pretty excited that Taco Bell came out with this menu I mean not a lot of places have value menus anymore that actually have like good items on them and then I also got some avocado ranch sauce and then some fire sauce and I did get a freeze which I think this is new I got the double berry freeze okay let's go ahead and pop into the Taco Bell drive-thru and pick up this order hi how are you hi I'm good how are you doing I'm good Good. Um, I have a mobile order for Daisy. It was the Thai Avocado Ranch Cheesy Double Beef Burrito, Chicken Enchilada, a Stacker, a Double Stack Taco, Loaded Beef, Nachos, Chicken Flatbread Melt, and a Large Double Berry Freeze. Uh, yes, perfect. Okay, second window. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about these items. I believe this menu has been out for kind of a good amount of time now, so let me know if y'all have tried anything on it yet because I you know I'm very curious to know if people are as excited about it as I am okay well I'll check in with you guys <laughs> once we get our order are you picking up for uh, yes okay. thank you thank you have a good day all right you guys we have secured our ginormous Taco Bell bag oh my god the thing is heavy okay so so let's see, where do I want to park? I don't want to park right in front of the restaurant because <laughs> that will draw more attention to myself. So let me park, oh, we'll park right here. Luckily it's a cloudy day, which means the sun is not as intense because usually when the sun is out, it's a little bit harder <laughs> to find parking. All right, you guys, here's the big Taco Bell bag. Let's see what all we have in here. I'm gonna see what is in this bag first. Ooh, okay, we got tons of fire sauce. I stocked up on the fire sauce because that's my favorite sauce. And then I also got the avocado ranch sauce. I thought this would be good with all the items. Okay, I'm just gonna pull out all of the items and count it to make sure we got everything. So here's item number one. And then we got another item. This one is quite big. We got item number three. Lots of napkins, super clutch, need those. Okay, we got item number four. Then we got item number five, and this is actually the last item. So I think we may have forgot something. Ooh, look at the loaded nachos. Oh my gosh, those look so good. Okay, now I gotta figure out which item we are missing, cause Let's see. Okay, yeah, I was supposed to get six items. Let me figure out exactly which one we are missing. A few moments later. All right, you guys, so I think we are good to go. I was missing the double stack taco, which I just went in and got that. Okay, so I think the first item I'm going to try is the stacker, and this is what it looks like. So it's basically just like their kind of chicken quesadilla, just kind of folded up to be stacked of course. The description says that it is melted cheese, seasoned beef, and nacho cheese sauce stacked up in a grilled flour tortilla. I'm gonna try it with the avocado ranch sauce, but we'll try it without first. Okay, oh my goodness, that is so good. Oh no, I think I forgot my straw too and I just went in there. I should have got a straw. Okay, it's all good, maybe I have one in my car. 
All right, let's try this with the avocado ranch. Mmm. Okay, this item, oh, 10 out of 10. This is absolutely delicious. And this one was only $2.19. I am obsessed with this. Okay, Taco Bell. I definitely approve of that item. Wow, that was delicious. Okay, score you guys. We got a straw. I think this is like a super old straw from Starbucks. Okay, here's our freeze. I'm gonna go ahead and drink some of this. Okay, this is really good. Okay, so this is a sweet strawberry and blue raspberry flavored freeze. $3.69 for this. I did get the large, but um, mm. so good. Goes perfectly with all of our Taco Bell. Okay, next up we have the chicken flatbread melt. This is a soft flatbread filled with grilled marinated all white meat chicken, creamy chipotle sauce, and melted three cheese blend. I love how most of these already have sauces on them. Here is what it looks like. It does look a little bit different than the picture, but <laughs> whenever I went in there, I could see them making that food in the back and they were just slinging that stuff together. Like no care in the world, which is fine. I'm all good with it. Okay, this one is good, but I definitely prefer the stacker. Let's put some hot sauce on this one. The stacker had way more flavor, I think because of the beef. And also this flatbread is very thick. Mm, better with the hot sauce, but still. I definitely prefer the stacker. Dip it in the avocado ranch. Ooh, looks like a good bite. Okay, mm hmm Even though it already has the creamy jalapeno or, no, was it creamy chipotle sauce on it, the avocado ranch kind of gives it a little bit more variety to the flavor profile. Okay, that item is just okay. It does remind me of one of their other items, but can't quite place it. I would definitely say our current front runner is the stacker. Okay, next up we have this burrito. Now this is a pretty large burrito. Look at that thing, wow. Okay, this item is either the cheesy double beef burrito, which I think is what it is, or the chicken enchilada burrito. I believe the double beef one will be bigger. This one is definitely bigger than our other burrito, so I'm gonna assume that's what this is. The cheesy double beef burrito is double the seasoned beef, seasoned rice, nacho cheese sauce, fiesta strips, reduced fat sour cream, and a three cheese Three cheese blend wrapped in a warm flour tortilla. I'm not a big fan of burritos whenever they put rice on them because I feel like they overload it with rice and then you don't get much beef. But we will see how this Taco Bell did. Mmm. It's actually the chicken one. <laughs> Okay, this one is grilled, marinated, all-white meat chicken, seasoned rife, red sauce, reduced fat, sour cream, and three cheese blend. Not seeing any sour cream or red sauce. Mm. If I'm being honest, this one's actually not that good. But I kind of feel like it's just how my Taco Bell made it. I don't think they did the best job making this one. Mmm.
It is better with the hot sauce. Again, I gotta say, not quite my favorite. I definitely prefer the stacker. Maybe I'm just more of a seasoned beef kind of girly at Taco Bell. I know a lot of you guys who watch me love their chicken though. So you may prefer the chicken items off of this menu. I just think like in terms of flavor, that seasoned beef has my heart, you know? Okay, I think the avocado ranch makes everything taste better. <laughs> the hot sauce as well so really all of these items i think if you sauce it up right it'll be good even with the sauces though i would not repurchase this one not a big fan also i just gotta say i really love my curls today i just love the way they turned out i think i found the secret to getting curls like this use a curling wand for sure and only hold the curl for three seconds if you hold it any longer the curl is going to be way too curly and it's going to be like too big of a ringlet and then i use this hairspray you guys this hairspray is amazing i used to spend so much money on like texturizing hairspray different like volumizing sprays but all you need is this hairspray it will hold your hair like no other and also give it a lot of good like texture and yeah, okay, anyways, back to our burrito here. So this is definitely the beef one, which I know I already read the description, but this one, I do just wanna point out, this is supposed to have Fiesta strips on it. I freaking love when the burritos have Fiesta strips, so I'm really hoping this one has the Fiesta strips because, you know, sometimes they forget. But let's <laughs> bite into it. Okay, first bite, mostly rice. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but it's it's a lot of rice. There's also, maybe I jinxed myself, but there is no tortilla strips on it either. Dang. I've actually never been to this Taco Bell before, but it's the closest one to my house. It's actually one town over, but the town that we live in is fairly small, and this town over is even smaller, so there's not a lot of traffic. It's very easy to get to here, whereas the Taco Bells in our town that we actually live in is like on very busy streets. One is about 15 minutes away. The other one is on a really busy main street that takes about 15 minutes to get to anyways. Whereas this Taco Bell only takes like five minutes to get to. So I decided to come here because I'm on my lunch break filming this and obviously the less time it takes for me to get here, the more time I have to film, you know? Anyways, can't say I would come back to this Taco Bell. It's a little bit of a fail. Kind of sad that there's no tortilla strips on here. I was really looking forward to this item because of the tortilla strips. I will say aside from that, this item is pretty good. I'm trying to get my hot sauce. The beef just really makes it. I think any of the burritos with beef on it, they're very delicious. This would probably be so much better with the fiesta strips, but even without, I do like it. So good item. They did remember the sour cream. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, so, so far the cheesy double beef burrito, very delicious, and then the stacker. I honestly think the stacker is still my favorite item. That's like a cheaper alternative to the chicken quesadilla. Because the chicken quesadilla is kind of pricey. All right, you guys, so we have two items left to try. The double stack taco. Let's check this one out. This is the one that I had to go back in for. Ooh, they remembered the uh, fiesta strips on this one. Oh, thank God. 
So this is a crunchy taco shell filled with seasoned beef, lettuce, fiesta strips, and cheddar cheese, all wrapped up in a flour tortilla with a layer of nacho cheese. It's kind of like the double decker taco, but a little bit different. This one is probably actually better with the strips. I definitely need hot sauce for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hot sauce on here because I don't think there's any sauce. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Okay, this one's really good. <laughs> it is very crunchy. They actually put like hardly no beef on here, mostly tortilla strips, but I do still like it. Honestly, I hope I'm not like complaining too much. I mean, in all actuality, everything is, is decent. It's Taco Bell. You can only do but so much to make a Taco Bell item actually taste bad. So really everything is good. I'm just trying to tell you guys what's actually worth trying because I doubt most people are going to come to Taco Bell and order all six of these items, you know. <laughs> Maybe you will though. Hey, I say do it so you can try everything. Okay, let's try the taco with the avocado ranch. I feel like this will be a stellar combination. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that's so good. Every time I get Taco Bell, I always want the Cinnabons. The little Cinnabon delights. Okay, the double stack taco was very, very delicious. I did really enjoy that item, but. It is a very crunchy taco. If you like something that's a little bit softer, you're not gonna like that item because those Fiesta strips add a lot of crunch to the taco and you also already have a hard shell inside of the soft shell. So yeah. Okay, so I personally think I saved the best for last and that is the loaded nachos. Let's open this up. I mean, these just look freaking amazing. Look at these, you guys. How spectacular do those look? Oh my gosh, I love Taco Bell's nachos. I am just a big nacho girly in general. One of the reasons why I love going to Mexican restaurants so much is for the nachos and salsa. <laughs> That's literally my favorite part, let me tell you. Okay, so these come with seasoned beef, refried beans, reduced fat sour cream, nacho cheese, red sauce, guacamole on top of tortilla strips. They actually remembered everything on here. I see all of the toppings that we were <laughs> supposed to get. Let's try, I'm gonna try to get everything onto a piece. Oh, that looks like a good bite. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These are super delicious. Okay, these in the stack are probably my favorite. Oh my gosh, those are so good. Okay, I'm gonna put some hot sauce on here. This will probably make these nachos even better. I was actually watching a vlog earlier on YouTube. It's like a girl who, most of her content was college content. She went to NYU, so she did a lot of college vlogs, but she just graduated, well, she didn't just graduate, but she graduated, I wanna say like last summer from NYU. And so now she's just doing like New York content, but in one of her vlogs, she was saying how she just had Taco Bell. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm I'm filming a Taco Bell video today. And it made me crave Taco Bell so much more. <laughs> like whenever you hear someone getting something, 
it makes you want it so much and that's how like these videos are whenever you see someone eating stuff on camera which you guys always say and like i get it y'all say that what i'm having makes you crave it so bad <laughs> And it's so true. Whenever you see somebody eating something or say that they want something, it makes you want it too. These notches are so clutch, you guys. If you like nachos, I would definitely recommend this to you. I don't think it's as good as their loaded fries. I don't know, it's kind of hard to say because Taco Bell's nacho fries are just so good. Mm. Dang, I'm at that part of the freeze where it's like all ice so you can't really suck anything up. can't get anything Am my tongue red mm, a little bit <laughs> one last bite and i'm gonna tell you guys my final thoughts mm. so good overall i think it's a little bit hard for me to say because my taco bell did not do the best job making the items i think in a perfect world if you got the item perfectly made everything probably would have been like at least an eight out of ten i mean with the sauces you can dress it up to where anything tastes good at Taco Bell, right? With how inconsistent fast food places are, I think you can always get the stacker and that will be really good. The loaded beef nachos, I can see how they could easily mess those up, but I did really enjoy mine. The three cheese chicken flatbread melt. If you like chicken and you like kind of a thicker shell, you'd probably like that. The chicken enchilada burrito, mine could have been better, sure probably still good and then the cheesy double beef burrito i did really enjoy now if they had added the fiesta strips to it i think it would have been perfect but yeah i would definitely order the stacker again like i can confidently say that so that is the entire value menu at taco bell let me know what you guys think of it have you tried it do you want to try it did any of these items look appetizing to you thank you all so so much for watching i really appreciate it i love you guys so much and i will see you all in my next video bye guys